Pack your bags, school is back on. A prominent Syrian scholar has passed away in Doha. Qatar at Crescent Society feeds thousands in Somalia. And finally, Spain's World Cup kiss scandal heats up. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The school bell is ringing. It's the first day of the week and the first day of the 2023 academic new year. Thousands of students have returned to schools and universities across the country. Students were seen flocking to some 550 schools and 34 higher education institutes after a week's-long summer break. Around 132,000 students were enrolled at government schools, while 209,000 study at private schools. Muslims from around the world have poured in tributes for prominent Syrian scholar Sheikh Mustafa al Serafi, who passed away in Doha at the age of 93 on Saturday. The late scholar died following a long and protracted battle with cancer. He was buried at the Misamir Cemetery with large crowds gathered at the site to bid him farewell. El Sarafi was one of the most notable Muslim figures in the region and held a number of key positions in the International Union of Muslim Scholars. Now, Qatar Red Crescent Society has completed a food parcels for IDP camps project in Somalia. At a total cost of over 713,000 rials, QRC has sent food parcels to nearly 15,000 people in need of emergency food supplies. This includes staples such as flour, rice, sugar, cooking oil, powdered milk, and dates. And finally, FIFA has suspended Spanish FA President Luis Rubiales as the scandal continues to heat up. Rubiales has faced heavy fire since grabbing World Cup winner Jennifer Hermoso and giving her a non-consensual kiss at the final. Rubiales has refused to acknowledge the consequences of his behavior, saying the kiss was consensual and a mere peck. In a video shared widely this week, he said he would not resign. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.